This is about all you're going to see of her in this game, <laughs> since it's a first-person RPG. That is Kyla Cole, yes. Time, given that this is on my SSD. Battle, fury, deadly blades and spells, fire and explosions, destruction. That was all I saw when I was created. Since then, I haven't seen anything else. Valerian, our world was at war. The war of gods. After Xarax, Speak up! Who was responsible for the balance in the world was murdered. Each of the gods claimed the right for the divine throne. At last, they all agreed that they should arrange the ultimate challenge in which the gods would cross their powers to show who is the most powerful to rule them all. But the gods who failed were still not willing to submit to the winner. They summoned their armies and attacked the worshippers of other gods. By the deaths of their worshippers, gods lost part of their power and weakened. This deed could not have been left without reply. After 2,000 years of battles, Valerian lies in ruins. Vast and black deserts of ashes, chasms sinking into the lava, earth torn and frozen into the lifeless glacier. That's what most of our world became. Gods with their armies fortified in the heavily protected fortresses which grew fast like mushrooms after rain, and sealed their territories with deadly magic traps. All those years the battle was drawn. Nobody could win. Until... The God of Darkness, Mordegorn, found a new weapon. New clerics from his castles appeared in the battlefields. Each of them armed with a pale crystal at the end of their staves. When a cold light shone in the direction of their enemies, soldiers just fell dead to the ground. Neither magical nor physical protection was effective. Mordegorn dominated most of the battlefields. His armies marched forward. Unstoppable. Spreading like cancer. Search for it throughout all of the world of Valerian, but no magic nor their divine powers worked. As the last hope, Arzwar, the god of fire, created me from his own astral body, a divine avatar, to send me through the space and time to seek other worlds where there might be the weapon we need. Without it, we were all doomed. Arswark, my master, where have you sent me? What have you done to me? Where are all my powers? Look what I have become, powerless, as the lesser beings of our world. Did they get her to voice this? <laughs> Patience, my child. The gods of this world would not allow anyone or anything to disturb hey, the Rich divine Noodle. balance of this sphere. Your divine essence, the astral flesh of my body, was scattered into sparks and absorbed equally by the gods of this sphere. You must seek them and convince them to help us with our cause. Find them, gain back your power, and find the counter weapon that we need. Master, I know nothing about this sphere. How can I survive without my power, without any knowledge? 
You must learn. Learn about this world, my child. Discover its secrets, its power, its wisdom. You didn't lose all your power. You must discover it and learn new skills. I can't believe this guy's name is Arzwarg. <laughs> Go now, my child. You know what to do. You must not fail. I will not disappoint you, my master. All right. New quest obtained. Click on the icon below or look into your journal for to read more. Search for gods of this world. Regain your divine essence and find the counter weapon. Okay. Doesn't look like there's a quick save. So this, this game has actually a really good map. I, I, I was testing this briefly, and like every NPC you talk to gets marked on the map and everything. It's quite nice. What a young, sweet girl. Do you know that I am very rich, and that this seaport is mine? I have a lot of money, and I can buy everything you have to sell. Um, do you have something to sell? Okay. <laughs> oh, we got a fair amount of inventory slots. That's good. Magic book. There's our stats. Food and water. Ugh. Yes, more bread. I wish you a nice day, fair maiden. Where do you come from so alone? I come from a very distant realm. Can you tell me what this place is? A stranger, hmm. This is Slavengrad, the capital of Slavonia. Who rules this kingdom? I need to speak with him. Oh, we're done voice acting. Prince Vladimir is our lord. What do you need from him? I doubt it would be easy for you to reach him. I seek advice. <laughs> I need to speak to someone who is familiar with the high affairs of this world. Do you know where I can find a mage around here? Uh, a mage? You must be indeed mad if you dare to speak such words. Magic is forbidden in the capital and unwelcome in the rest of the country. After all those wars that the mages set upon us, our kings banish them out of the kingdom. Hmm, tell me about the gods you worship. How can I find them? To find a god? Foolish young girl. Tell me you want to speak to them, eh? Only high priests can speak to gods, but I'll tell you one thing. The townspeople have turned away from old gods. Ever since the old king Svatopluk <laughs> ruled this kingdom, the people of the capital have become faithless, speaking about gods and mages. Hmm. People of the capital are no longer interested in such things. Only simple people in the country still worship old gods. Do you think this game was made in like a Slavic country, given all these wild names? Do you need something? Hurry up, I've got some important business to do. Come from a distant realm and I need to know what gods are worshipped in this kingdom. I worship no one. It won't help you in this town, only money can save you. Ask someone else. Can I help you somehow? Most people used to worship the old gods, but now only one temple of Almanon remains in town. The other temples were destroyed in the Barbarian Raid 50 years ago. Why didn't you rebuild them? Everyone knows that old King Svatopluk couldn't stand anyone who held power comparable to his own. He had only the temple of Ol Almanon rebuilt because of his simple priests who don't seek power. What about other old gods you mentioned? If the country still worship old gods, you better seek them there. Okay. Can I help you somehow? I need to speak to your mages. Tell me where I can find them, please. Foolish young girl, you can't speak about such things here. Why? Why is everybody afraid of mages? We're not afraid, we just don't like to speak about them. Why? What happened? 
Old King Svatopluk despised them and banished them from our kingdom. He hated them so much that several people who helped them or were believed to wield some sort of magic were burned at the stake in the main square. And that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> but now we have a new king. Prince Vladimir and his father were very much alike. He's a good king, but the only power he believes in is his sword and army. Fear from King Svatopluk's times is deeply rooted in the people. They'd rather not speak about mages, I'm sorry, but I can't tell you anything else. Hey, Amberzine. Hmm. Would you like to come to the tavern this evening with me? We could have fun together. Alright, I just asked. <laughs> Oops. Let's not mark anybody down. Oh, I have to turn on. There we go. Yeah, so everybody we talk to gets marked. So if we have to, like, find a specific NPC, that'll make our lives, like, way easier. And you can make your own notes, too, which is good. Hello. Do you want to buy something? What do you sell? Pottery? Water skin, food, grapevine. What bloody times we live in. I have to clean my house. I'm a man, the lord of procreation. I advise you, think twice when you consider getting married. <laughs> what? play mm, I think you're right Wally Lynn uh, we don't need a streetwalker in this town well how rude I've had enough of this smell and disorder I'll move back to my mother mm, yeah I think there's something about it this 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 game definitely is going through an English translation of some variety uh, oh man. Hey, uh, you want some beer? Oh, uh, damn. I'll grambler this. Move away from this corner. This is my territory. <laughs> there are rumors about barbarian raids in the eastern county borderlands. Oh, don't say that. The last thing we need is a war with the barbarians. Hi, Traveler. Do you want to buy some food? Honey, cakes, bread, eggs. Okay. There's some rumor. Oh, yeah. Oops. Da. Da, stop. <laughs> Fuck. The other, what's a voice acted and what's not is very random. <laughs> Hi, Traveler. Do you want... Raw wolf skin. Well, that sounds tasty. <laughs> if you're thinking about stealing something, forget it. Someone sold 10 sausages yesterday, but for the last time. From now on, I'll guard this stall. You see that? Lenora's raised her prices again this week. Where shall I get the money for that beautiful fabric from the north? Hello. Do you... A thousand eighty gold coins for some fabric? God damn, lady. A woman just gives you a brief look and turns away. Where about my brother? He lives with his family near the maze forest. Recently I've heard spooky tales about ghastly hunters and beasts walking around their settlement. My brother used to go on exploration journeys to the north. He believed that he would find elves in the cursed forest one day. So he's been a dreamer, but now I'm beginning to worry about him. Her? Also, you can move in first person by clicking, which is really weird. It's kind of annoying because you'll go to click on something and end up walking <laughs> when you don't want to. Stay out of trouble. Uh... If you think you have a good reason as to why we should let you pass, then speak to Wentz. He is the chief here. Hey, stop. You can't pass. 
This is the residence of Prince Vladimir. Go away. If you think you have a good If you think If you think you have a All right then. <clears throat> Oh man, you go like 10 times faster if you run strafe run. <laughs> Forward run, strafe run. Speed run strats. Hello, beautiful lady. If you were interested, I could sell you some special potions or some ingredients for us. I don't think there's any uh, jumping salt. Lesser healing potion, healing potion. Chant weapon plus one. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Mage book level two. Mage job level at apprentice. <laughs> okay. Oh, wondrous warrior. Your handsome body needs to be protected. I sell armors of every size and shape. Just let me know what you need. 2,782 gold, holy crap. Fighter, archer, and thief job. Any jobs are there? I noticed there's no statistics, just a price. <laughs> hey, beauty, don't you have one gold coin to spare? If I don't get some money by tomorrow, I'll end up on the street. Sure, there you go. What, not even a thank you? I already gave you a coin. Leave us alone. We're here to finish our mission. It is a matter for elves. It has nothing to do with humans. I don't have time to spare for you. Go away. Well, how rude. What a nice day. I think I'll go and see my husband in the graveyard. Hmm. Though he didn't used to like sunny days, the flowers on his grave do. Ah. Uh... Speaking privately, can't you see? Yeah, that was a little odd. Some woman just walks up to you. Okay. We're only done like a circuit. Pizza Rama? <laughs> I won't be named Pizza.
Greetings, lady. Do you know of someone who hasn't got much work to do right now? What do you have on your mind? A wheel in my wagon is broken. I need someone who could run to my village and bring back a spare one. Why don't you buy a new one here in town? You pay a lot of money for a good wheel that doesn't break at the first pothole. I have two wheels in my barn. Why should I pay for a new one? What are you give me? I don't have much money. My dried fish didn't sell very well. Yeah, I got it. I can give you a good supply of dried fish. They're very good for traveling. I could also give you a bottle of wine. Alright, where do I need to go? I'm just go to Woda Gbleli and find my wife, Marfa. She will give you the wheel. She'll ask you a question. What's the name of my second child? Answer that I have no children. Alright. We have a quest to get a fucking wheel for Scarlet. <laughs> Truly, the grandest of quests has begun. The woman is whimpering. What happened to you? My husband, after work, he always... He goes every evening to another woman. I even know that she's not the only woman he goes to. He's a very handsome man, and he knows it. He doesn't care about my feelings anymore. I've become only his possession and a slave. Can I help you somehow? I have a plan. I need to keep him home. I heard that the brewer, your... Yuridge knows how to make a liquor that makes a man to lose his appetite for women. Yuridge also makes another drink which would make me more beautiful in his eyes. He lives eastward from Slavingrad. If you bought me those liquors, I would give you a rich reward. Alright. Twenty six thousand seven hundred and sixty five gold coins. You could, at least you could do is tell me how much damage it does. Jesus Christ. That's a lot of fucking money. It always takes so long until Conrad finishes his work, but it's worth waiting for. <laughs> what have you given him to repair? My old good sword. I'm gonna hunt tomorrow. Tanner Marion gives nice money for animal skins. He buys almost everything you get from animals and creatures and has much better prices than Millerad. Hey, Dev Deal. I haven't seen you in a while. How are you doing, man? It's not bad business. We can go hunt together someday. Okay. Well, I guess. Oh. I wish you a nice day, fair maiden. Where are you going, if I may ask? It's not safe to travel alone for a young girl like you. I'm not afraid of anything. I can take care of myself. But could you tell me where the road leads to? Oh, it leads to Petrov Petrovsky, my native village, but I'm just heading home. I've been to Slavengrad to buy some pottery at the marketplace. I'll sell it well in Petrovsky if Lady Randy's luck stays with me. Ladriandi? Yes, Ladriandi is our goddess. She takes care of us, or I should rather have said that she used to take care of us. Could she take me to her temple? Hmm, why are you so interested in Ladriandi's temple? I seek advice. I need to speak to someone wise who knows about the high affairs of this world. Hmm, it'd be best if you come with me to Derovit, our mayor. His memory sometimes fails him, but he could surely give you advice that you seek. He traveled a lot in his younger age. Once he was a hero, he's got connections. All right then, I must learn more about the habits in Slavonia. Take me to your mare. Okay, young lady, follow me to Petrovsky. <coughs> Excuse me. Welcome to Slavengrad. When you want to travel to the next location, you must go to the signpost or click on it. All right, Trotsky. Sorry to any Slavic viewers, I'm probably slaughtering these names, but oh well. So here is my village, Petrosa. Petrosa. Very cheap okay. money here. Let's go to our mayor, Derovit. Just follow me. Okay, let's go. Uh, 
Um, excuse me. My name is Darabor. Maybe I would have a job for you, if you are interested. Oh yeah? Here, Bashka and Yannick are going to Garmel's mill with our wheat. We need someone to protect them. You know, traveling is a very dangerous business these days. Wolves, bandits, anything can happen. Please take them to Garmel's mill safely, and you won't regret it. Excuse me. Alright. Or what do I get for it? I'll give you a hundred bucks. Okay. Oh, I see they're now they're with me. Was oh, that a wolf? Or is that just a puppy? I don't know. Yeah! Oh, it's a wolf. All right. <laughs> Let's see how combat works. Kind of a JRPG combat system, it looks like. Yeah. All right then. Yeah, just zip over, boom. At least they're fast. <laughs> I'll take janky and fast over fancy and slow. If, if you're not at work, Liquid Flood, Google image search Kyra Cole, and you'll see that uh, <laughs> the woman that she's based on is endowed uh, in the exact same fashion. <laughs> this is this is one of those rare instances where the video game character actually looks like a real person. <laughs> But yeah, if you work, don't, don't, don't look her up. <laughs> that won't go well for you. Peace be with you, strength. Oh, goddess. What? I'm sorry, but I can't talk to strangers. My father has forbidden me to do so. Hi, I have no one who can help me to transport my grain to the mill. I must sell cheap and buy milled flour. Would you like to buy some? Uh, no. Yeah, this is cool too. When you talk to a trader, it even tells you what they what they buy and what they sell. As, as jank as this game may be, the, the map is really, really good. Top shelf map. Hmm, a stranger. If you have some important business here, you should better go and speak to Daveret. The best sausage around, the freshest eggs around. Hi, trader. I breed rabbits and chickens, so I need some grain, beets, and corn. If you have any, I'll buy it. I wonder if you, if this game has like a trading like market system where we're supposed to like buy goods from one guy and like sell them somewhere else for a profit or something. I don't know. May Ladrian guide your steps. How about this evening, Evelina? We could meet at Fox Mound. No one will see us there. I know, I have a lot of work at the house. I doubt my mother would let me go. I'll come for you whenever he's asleep. Uh, my mother doesn't sleep well. Any sound louder than a mosquito will wake her up. The couple pretends they're preoccupied with their work. How about this evening, Evelina? This freaking jaunty town music. <laughs> This one was recommended to me, Kurakami, on my Discord. I'd never heard of this game before a few days ago. <laughs> what shall I do with without my Darmian? Who's Darmian? What happened to him? Darmian's my husband. He, he went to look for Derivit's wife in Sharkin's Dale, but he hasn't returned. Lydia, what are you doing here again? I told you to go and help your mother with lunch. Excuse me? 
Oh, it's you, Anamelia. Forgive me. You know I can't see well anymore. The hell are you doing up there, Rooster? <laughs> How'd you even get up there? I wish you a nice day. So where is this Darovit guy? Mirror. Can you see our beekeeper nearby? Want to earn some money? Just buy some pottery in Slavengrad and sell it to him. He needs the pottery for his honey. I always bring some to him when I visit our capital town. There's Darovit. Welcome to Petroza, traveler. New to this part of the country, as I can see? Yes, yes, I would have seen you before. I traveled a lot when I was younger. Or good old times. What do you need? I need your knowledge of the old days, as you say. I'll ask, but hurry. I'm on my way over to the inn. Shanti told me that magic is forbidden in your country. I need to find someone who could help me with the arcane arts. Hmm. Indeed. Strange you are. Mages? It's been a long time since I heard anything about them. I don't remember much. Old King Svatopluk banished them all from Slavonia. There must be mages in this world. They couldn't just disappear. They must have fled somewhere. I speak the truth. No one I know has ever encountered a mage in Slavonia since the old times. But when I was younger, I traveled a lot. Yes, I've seen many things and heard even more. Hmm, if you seek magic, you could possibly find it in the mythical forests far in the north. According to old fables, the elves used to live there. But I can't remember where. My memory fails me, I hear only whispers from the past in my mind. What about gods? What gods do you worship? Is there a temple nearby? Gods? Don't tell me about gods. I don't believe there are some gods above us. I stopped believing when my Eureka was lost. Where are the gods when you need them most, huh? Who is Eureka and what happened to her? Oh, Eureka was my beautiful young wife. It's been only two weeks since she went to the forests to gather herbs in the night. We haven't seen her since. We've looked for her everywhere. It's possible that she went too far to Sharkin's Dale. A dangerous place it is. Horrible creatures live there. Three of our brave young men went to Sharkin's Dale. They never returned. I'll try to find your wife if you promise to help me in my search for the gods and or mages. Why would you do that? Look at yourself. You're just a girl. Not armed well for such a task. I don't risk your young life for such a foolish undertaking. My safety is my concern. Think about your Eureka. Well, alright. If there's some hope to find her, if you go to Sharkin's Dale and return alive with my Eureka, I'll help you with everything I can, and I'll give you 80 gold coins for risking your life. Where's Sharkin's Dale? Sharkin's Dale lies in the northwest. I'll give you a map and mark where it is. Good luck. I hope that at least you return full of bleh, you will return alive. Oh, you're back. Good to see you. What? <laughs> Hi, young lady. Honey is my second name because I am the beekeeper. <laughs> okay, I produce a lot of honey, thanks to my hardworking bees. If you have some pottery, I'll buy it all from you. When you can't see well at night, you would be better off sleeping until morning. Click the camp button in the bottom right corner of your screen. Okay. It's not that dark. <laughs> It's a happy looking dog. <laughs> what the heck? I can't oh, move. you're back. Would you fuck off? I haven't found your stupid wife yet. What should we do about ladder around his temple? We can't afford to lose more of our men. I heard that Gorzars put a bounty on those creatures. Till the Gorons leave Raven Heights, no one dares to go to the temple. Look at our stranger. She's just a woman, but maybe. I wish you a nice day, beautiful stranger. If you seek a job or want to earn some extra money, you can speak with Gorbars. You can surely use your blade. I'm sorry, but I can't. Where's Gorar? Is it? <laughs> I talked to him. Yeah. He's over there. 
Map paying off already. This cave is so bright and colorful for a like Slovakian game. Games from that region are usually more like dark. <laughs> oh goddess. He still won't talk to me. A stranger. Peace be with you, stranger. Okay. Person stat will be penalized if water level decreases under 40%, penalties double to 20. The person stat? <laughs> there's, there's no stat called person. Do you mean this person's stats in general? <laughs> what? She did not burn at the stake. They changed history. It's so lame. She just goes off and lives happily ever after in her village. So dumb. Go through all that and we don't even get get a good stake burning. It's very disappointed. So we need to go to the mill to deliver these people, right? Thank you for your escort, Vivian. It was an honor for us to travel with you. Here, my father gave me the money he promised you for your service. I hope we'll meet again. If you're interested, we shall return to Petrovsky where... Petrovsk? I can't remember how to say it already. When our wheat is milled and ready, if you find us here, we do appreciate your protection. For the same price, of course. All right. Well, that's our name. We're Vivian. Okay. I was like, who the fuck's Vivian? <laughs> What mill are we yet? A traveler, my name is Garnol, and this mill is mine. I'm the only miller around who sells quality flour. I need a lot of grain, I pay a good price for it. Yeah. Oh my goodness, you are exactly what I was looking for. I need an escort to Slavengrad. I'll pay you 50 gold coins if you'll accompany me. Don't be funny, others would pay more, and Slavengrad is much further than their destinations. Alright, then I'll give you 75 gold coins. Hundred bucks. Take a look for someone else. Oh, hey. So if you change your mind, I'll pay seventy-five. Okay. All right. <laughs> Easy money. Fancy water. Okay, this place is like super tiny. <clears throat> <laughs> Thank you for your services. Here's your reward. You gonna pop up a hint every single time somebody gives me money? <laughs> I get it. Thank you. Okay, even now that we've heard about the elves, that guy still won't talk to us. Alright. Well. Brewer Yurich. Right. Liquor. Wolf. Ow. Why couldn't he hit for 13 the first time? That would have one-shot him. 
Dang it. Thirteen. All. Oh. We got some stuff this time. Cool. The hell did you get up to th <laughs> What the fuck? Hey, you thirsty princess? I have the best liquors in the country, everybody knows that. Even Prince Vladimir sends his men to buy my wine. Would you like to taste some? Leave that child alone. How could you sell alcohol to a girl? Girl? She's a pretty woman. Of course she can drink. Now back to business. Are you interested in something? By the way, I have some business for you. Strange creatures live near my hut in marshy grounds. Trappists, they're called. They're ugly and dangerous. The thing is that if you can add an extract from their tails to the liquor, it can make a big mess in somebody's head, huh? Bring me ten tails and I'll pay 350 gold coins. Sure. Don't fool that young girl. Do you want her to get killed, you old drunk? Shut up, nobody asked you. Alright. He doesn't sell the... The stuff we need for our quest. This is the guy, your age, right? Go to your brewery, your age, get liquor against lust and liquor beauty. He doesn't. He doesn't have it. Oh, here we go. Larissa from Slavingrad has troubles with her husband, lustful husband. She heard that your husband could make liquors that could help her. Oh, that's my invention. He has no idea that I use these potions on him. I won't hesitate to lend a hand if another woman needs my help. Here you are, take these two liquors. That was easy. Figured I was gonna have to buy them. <laughs> Mufti, level one. What? Can't talk to him. Music is way too cheerful. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, now where was that girl? I think she was over here. Yeah. Glad to see you again. Did you get those liquors for me? Yes, here are the liquors you asked for. Thanks a lot. I only hope it'll work. I'll give you 200 gold coins for your expenses. Also, I'll give you some good advice for your kindness. I have a sister in Woda Belly Village. Her name is Adrona. She's a herbalist and a skilled alchemist. You'll find her in a hut apart from the village. She can teach you some of her secrets. Okay. That's also where we gotta find that guy's wheel. I guess we got two reasons to go to that place. Well, <laughs> it's gonna pop that up every time somebody gives me money. Ridiculous.
Yeah, the, co the combat's not first person, but exploration is. Greetings, young traveler. It brings you to my poor hut. Your sister Larissa told me you were a skilled alchemist. She believes that you could teach me some of your skills. Hmm, you must have helped my sister if she referred you to me. I bet she's having troubles with that philanderer again. All right, I will teach you, but it won't be for free. You'll have to bring me ten aloe plants from marshy lands. Let's see what I can find. So far, I mean, it, we got slots here for additional people, but so far it's just one character. I'm assuming more people will join us eventually. Just gives you a glance and turns away. Or didn't your husband have sent me to bring a spare wheel for his wagon? Yeah, I should have known that he would break something again. This isn't the first time. Just tell me what the name of my second child is. I don't have any children. All right, I'll bring you the wheel. I just wonder what he gave you for your service. I was such a fool to marry that bungler. Marfa, Marfa, Marfa. Clicking to move. <laughs> First person game is so very, very weird. It's a tiny ass town. Alright. Well, we got the wheel. <clears throat> Our epic quest to be everybody's errand girl continues. Okay, where was Wheel Guy? Warren didn't, I think that was him. Oh, wondrous ward. Armor. <laughs> Have you brought the wheel? Here's your wheel. What about the fish? I'll give you ten dried fish and one extra bottle of wine as promised. Should be good traveling supply for you. Some fish and a bottle of wine. <clears throat> Marshy lands. All right. You have some actual real quests to do now. I send it to me, aren't I? Summon wolf.
Yeah, take that shit, Wolf. One damage. At least he's good for absorbing hits. Oh man, that's not good. <laughs> so another one. Saxon. Damn it, that's one hit point left. Get a wolf. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> one down. I wonder if there's an option to shut off all this fucking camera swinging around. <laughs> Trying to look all cinematic. No AP? AP? What? Action points? Now I have action points. Oh, AP3. Huh, okay. 20 damage, whoa. That was a good hit. Get it. And we leveled up. Holy, that was worth a lot of XP. And we got a, a tail or whatever. Vivian's statistics were rised. Five free points. <clears throat> so what we got here? Strength, spelt wrong, is used, spelt wrong, for calculating the total weight of items you carry in you inventory bag, spelt wrong. <laughs> it also determines the total damage you can cause your enemies in close combat. Strength sounds good. Dexterity determines the chance of hitting your enemy. Damage caused by range. Intelligence determines the amount of mana and damage caused by magic spells. Note, your person must have a mage profession on at least neophyte level to have any mana points. Vitality is used to calculate how many life points person will person have. <laughs> the higher number of vitality, the more life points your person has. This English. Uh, luck determines the chance for critical hit. Chance to create items and quality of items created using alchemy. Do that, I guess. <clears throat> All right. First level up. So this this isn't too bad so far. It's, it's obviously low budget, and janky, but it seems reasonable. Four? Oh man. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Wolf. Well, I think we're screwed. Uh, I think we should run. <laughs> What? I lost XP? Running away? Fuck oh, down, I love my game. Screw you. <laughs> these, things, these things are too tough for us. We can take on two, not four. Let's try the other... other area. Sharkin's Dale. Hey, soda. Yep. It's it's not an adult game or anything though. It's it's rated teen, so <laughs> keep your pants on. <clears throat> I have a new attack. Bleeding. Seventy-five percent chance to cause a bleeding wound. Enemy will bleed for the next three rounds. Costs two AP instead of one, though. Yeah. God damn it. Oh, get fucked.
Nice. Here, Wolfie, Wolfie, Wolfie. Hit points, hitting them for 12 sucks. Oh, come on! I'm out of action points. Alright, we've got some meat. That's good. We're gonna need that soon. Food and water seem to go down really slowly when you're just wandering around, but when you sleep, it goes down super fast. Elder Wolf level 3. Oh. Let's look for some more baby wolves. We're almost level 3 ourselves. Wolf level 2. Have I massacred all the baby elf baby wolves? Goron level 4. There we go. I don't want to fight that yet. <laughs> I wonder if enemies uh, respawn at all or if it's all fixed encounters. Don't you? Oh, what? Hi. Where'd you come from? Oh, come on. Oh, yeah, bleed to death. Okay, good. Oh, what? Come on, game. I've tried to avoid. Resting and wasting food and water. Your hit points are low. You can restore them by using a healing potion and sleeping. Yes. And when you level up, you get full health. Come on, there's gotta be like one more baby wolf out here. Random tent made out of grass. Okay. Why not? Are you Eureka, Davaret's wife? Your whole village has been looking for you. I'll take you away from this dangerous place. Yes, I'm Eureka, but I'm not going anywhere. Nobody's taking me to Dervid anymore. Why do you say that? Dervid's your husband. He surely grieves for you. But he's never cared about me, really. And frankly, I haven't cared about him either. I was forced to marry him. My parents managed the wedding. 
That's our way here. Okay. There's a little choice when the promise is given between the families. I've loved Searad since I was a little girl. He's always been an outcast because of his strange powers. No animal ever attacked him, but he had rebelled against our blind habits, and the people drove him away from the village. What? <laughs> this translation job. Now he lives in the wilderness. This is his hut. We are safe here and happy. I promised Dervit to bring him back. He offered gold coins to do so. Yes, he is rich in the village. He can afford to pay such mercenaries as you. I can't give you any money, but I can heal your wounds and give you the healing potions we prepared. Just say you found my clothes torn to pieces, nothing more. Oh, I have a choice. All right, don't worry. I know how much suffering such laws could cause. I'll say the monsters got gotcha. you. So heal me. And heal me. and he gave me the potion. I guess you can stack them up to 10. Okay. like I'm gonna have to rest that's a waste but oh well you could drink a potion I have 11 of them now chat is pretty quiet hey Duke that's cool they're too busy uh, Google image searching Kyle Cole I guess <laughs> let's leave and come back see if the wolves respawn I'm curious I'm doing all right. Just, just started this game. It's pretty interesting. Oh, this wolf respawn. Here we go. So they do respawn. Get him. Fuck. Blade, thank you. Yes, level level three. Oh yeah, melee power went up. Cool. All right. That's all I wanted. Now we can fight the tougher wolves. How many hit points do we have? 59. Uh, there's a game called... Uh... Oh, I can't remember the fucking name of it. Hey, Crest Retro. That's fine. Lurk away, man. Um... Something Serengar. Call, Call of Serengar. There's a game called Call of Serengar that is a modern... Uh, Betrayal Crondor game that's being worked on right now. It, lo it looks pretty good. It's being made by one guy. It's not like it's a big budget affair or anything, but it uh, it certainly looks true to Betrayal Crondor. Shut that shit up. It's really annoying. Also, it's getting pretty dark. <laughs> I'd have to rest anyway. 
Ooh. Get who fucked who. Yeah, let's, let's rest. Yeah, going from first person exploration to uh, like a third person tactical battle is a very betrayal Crondor. Or gold box. Eat. Nom 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 nom. Drink. There we go. Oh yeah, I, I much prefer turn based to other style. Skins. Hopefully they're not too heavy. So we don't get a penalty at 23.8 kilograms. Okay. Arcanum. I don't know about that. I'm not a huge, huge fan of Arcanum, to be honest. Start blading. Blade. Fuck. Now I'm out of action points, right? Yeah. Oh boy. Uh. Hmm. If I hit him, he's dead. If I miss, I'm dead. Cat. Sorry, man. <laughs> no pets. That barely healed me at all. So I used up all my food. Things are kind of scary. Let's uh, <laughs> let's go fight the level two wolves first. Noctropolis. I've heard of that. I've never played it though. A parish fraud. Yes, that is that is the game I'm playing. Subtract point. I didn't oh. put too many points into Dexter. Did oh. Trappa Eye. Okay. <clears throat> Baking soda. Me Lee. <laughs> Spell it 
whatever's in this game are out of control. Three action points. Attack two times. They misspell everything in this game. <laughs> you should see the, the statistical descriptions. Oh. Okay, that's definitely worth three action points, though. Yeah, like... Look, look, at, look at the description for strength. So strength is spelled wrong. Used is spelled wrong. <laughs> and instead of your bag, it's you bag. <laughs> Carry in you bag. There's many, many typos in this. This, the, I, I can't remember what country these guys are from, but they're definitely not English speakers. So this was translated. After the fact, poorly translated, I should add. it would cost <laughs> to hire a porn star to just have her likeness and to voice a few lines in the game. Probably cheaper than a traditional voice actor, I'd bet. Twenty-seven hit points. Huh? Oh, get fucking wrecked. Yes. It's kind of weird having an action point system like this in a, this style of combat. It's kind of interesting. I don't know who either of those people are. That would be awesome. Get to, I want to see Danny DeVito in a fantasy RPG now. <laughs> and make him talk in Lord British style, Old English. That would be fucking incredible. Hunter Chieftain. Yeah, probably. They've done just about everything in Sunny at this point. Well, we're getting lots of lots of meat. Water is going to be an issue, though.
Oh, that's not good. Please kill it. Oh no! We're dead. <clears throat> Rip. Rip and pepperoni. Yeah, it got funded in the first day. I mean, J Jeff Fogel. Every, every game he makes is worse than the last one, so <clears throat> it's hard to hard to get excited about anything he does anymore. It's a spiderweb software that made like the Avedon games, Gene Forge games, the uh, Avernum games, stuff like that. Shit. Shit. It's not good. It takes five hours, except you don't automatically eat food, so... Is there any way to just say eight? Okay, there we go. Eight hours camp. Apparently I ran out of food immediately. This is not a good way to get your health back, apparently. What the fuck? Oh, it's really dark. <laughs> and I got nothing back for that? So we're gonna have to rely on potions and leveling up? <laughs> we had to find somebody we can sell these wolf skins to and make some money. So that we can pay for these things. We're not getting any cash here. Here, eat some heads for me. <laughs> when you knock an enemy to one hit point. Come on. Now I'm out of action points. Yeah, I'm surprised there isn't just a eat food when resting option. I don't... I don't get it. Please don't miss. Don't miss, don't miss, don't miss. Fuck, I'm getting annihilated here.
ponderous warrior. Your handsome body. Hello. Well, these potions are cheap. <laughs> the guy trying to sell armor says you should protect your handsome body or some bullshit. Well, this guy, buy or person buys wolfskin. Hello. No? I thought it said to do. Is it you? Hi, traveler. Do you want to buy some? What? Send him a thing. Oh, selling wolfskin. Fuck, I need buying wolfskin. <laughs> this dude said he'd buy everything. He might give a shitty price, though. Buying any boots, any lower body. Looks like we're gonna have to go sell to the guy in the boat. Yep, 2006. What a young, sweet girl. What a young sweet. Okay, got a little bit of money. I need to buy some water. <laughs> Fruits, water skin. There we go. Hello. Two bucks each. Cool. Give me a. How much do they weigh? Half a kilogram. Let's buy ten. Don't want to weigh ourselves down too too much. We got lots of food because the wolves drop meat. So. Okay. Okay, selected camp until healed worked. Okay. Alright, cool. Well, this is an actual photograph, Parish Fraud. <laughs> this is Kyla Cole, the... the Penthouse playmate. <laughs> it's an actual photo. Yeah, they could have they could have gone all photos, my Magic Six style. That would have been cool. Yeah, hopefully we get uh, some party members eventually. Also, I wonder if we ever get more uh, more action points. Five is not a lot.
Level 1 wolves don't give very much XP anymore. <laughs> As expected. <clears throat> it is really dark. Yeah, there's, there's level 2 and level 3 wolves in the area, and some kind of weird giant lizard thing that's level 4. That looks kind of scary. Okay, so we accidentally put two points in decks last time, so none this time, and then two vitality. Cool. Be interesting to see what this job system entails. It seems separate from our, our level. Risk fighting Goron. Might as well give it a shot. We're level five now. Sweet. <laughs> Eighty hit points. Oh man. Get him, doggo! Yeah! Oh, he's bleeding! Ooh! Good boy. Take those hits. Hey, fish, yeah, we finished it. And no, she didn't get burned at the stake. I was very disappointed. for another round. Yeah, go puppy. Just keep tanking all that shit. Yeah, well, in the case of, uh, <laughs> of the game we played, with the wolf leveled up, level two? If the wolf survives, does he get better? That's interesting. <laughs> that's a, an odd mechanic, if that's the case. Uh, but yeah, she... Uh, in the game, she, she... She lives. She lives. She survives. She goes back to her home village. Well, the summon's gone though. Like it doesn't stay between fights. But we'll see. We'll see if our, our wolf is is better. Like in the, I saw some screenshots when I was looking researching this game, and it, it, there were party members there. So I think it's just part of the story that you find you find more people eventually. We're still like really early. I just we just started this up, so.
Level two, yeah. I don't know if he was already level two the first time. <laughs> Guess... I, I started with that spell. Haven't, haven't figured out how to get any more magic yet. There's some kind of job system. In addition to leveling up, you have a job, but uh, so far I haven't figured out how that works yet. Again, we, we've only been playing this for maybe an hour, hour and a half. We're just most, spent most of that time running around doing like fetch quests and errands and stuff, so we're still figuring it out. But, uh, but yeah, we started with the Summon Wolf spell, which is proving to be quite friggin' helpful. Just because he tanks the those hits. Don't! God damn it. Yeah, I need to buy some armor. <laughs> there was some leather armor available in town. Like actual like pants and a shirt. <laughs> but I didn't want to spend any money until I was sure what exactly I was dealing with here. This looks like it's going to be nasty. Assuming these guys attack me. They might be friendly. Are you friendly? What are you doing here? Village people have no permission to step into this wilderness. No civilization reaches out here. Come back from where you came from. Tell me something about a certain woman. Her name is Eureka. We already found her. She lives in the village of Petrovsky. She used she just but she got lost in the forest. We know Eureka very well, eh? But she does not belong to Derivit any longer. What'd you do to her? We have nothing. She wants to be here. And why? She's Sirad's woman now, and she wants to stay with him. She will not go back with you. Go away. Return back to your village. I'll find her and talk to her, Hunter, but I don't want to draw our draw our arms, but we're sworn to protect Sierra and his new woman. Get out of here. <laughs> Riveting dialogue in this game. <laughs> Alright, so Yeah, Eureka's over there. Where were those elder wolves? Were they over here? There was like some level three wolves. Killed one of them and then ran away. Wonder if there's something behind them. No, that was the lizard guy. Oh, it's a level 3 and a level 2 together, okay. It seems he has like 100% aggro, it makes it super useful, that summon spell. Yeah, I get fucked. I don't know how I feel about this action point system, it's kind of weird in this kind of game.
Nothing. We haven't found like any any treasure out in the wild yet. No chests or anything. All right, let's uh let's go back to town and tell that dude his wife's dead. <laughs> Baby wolf, kill it. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Get fucked. Have I mentioned I love this game's map? It's really good. The, o the only problem with the map is it comes pre pre-discovered. Like there's no shroud of war to, to uncover, so it's hard to tell where you've been and where you haven't been, but the fact that it labels everything and you can make your own labels makes me very happy. Oh you're back. Good to see you, alive and alone? Where is Eureka, my beautiful wife? Sorry, but we found these clothes torn to pieces. The monsters took her. Of that, there's no doubt. Ah, oh, my beautiful Eureka. Dead? What shall I do without her? This is too horrible to bear. Really sorry about this. I did my best. I still need your help. Can you tell me about the gods that are worshipped here? Gods? There are no gods. No gods save my beloved Eureka from this horrible death. Alright, you tried to help me, so I'll try to help you. People in my, vill people in my village worship Ladriandi goddess of fertility. Unfortunately, I've had problems with her shrine for some time now. If you want to know more, you must go and speak to Gorazd. I don't care about such things anymore. It's a pity that you care about such trivial things as mages or gods. We have real problems here, and we could use a brave adventurer such as yourself, truly. The northern forests are no longer safe for anyone. Those forests provide us both food and shelter for as long as I can remember. For years, we lived in balance with nature, but a few weeks ago, animals started to attack everyone. Do you know what or who is behind it all? The word is that there is some mad beast master controlling all the animals in the area. Only the soldiers of Prince Vladimir can solve this problem and save our forest from all evil. Please go on my behalf to Prince Vladimir and ask for help. You can count on me, Derivit. Okay. Let's go talk to this garaged guy. Oh, goddess, what shall we eat in the winter? How shall we survive? Can you tell me about the gods you worship here? Why are you interested in our gods? Derva told me that you'd had some problems. Yes, unfortunately that is right. Our people worship Ladriande, goddess of fertility. She used to take care of us, but never before have I experienced hunger or misery. But since, what happened between you and your goddess? We had a shrine in Raven Heights built for Ladriande. Every spring on Luvenar, we used to have... A big festival and ceremonies at the shrine, bringing food, sacrifices to Ladriande for our first crop. Moreover, our maidens used to go to the shrine every first day of the week to take care of the flowers and decorations of the temple. But this spring, some horrible creatures settled in the Raven Heights and began to breed like mice. Our men tried to banish them, but some of them have never returned. Now misery comes upon us. No one dares to go to the shrine, and Ladriande, I fear, has turned her sight away from us. Strange, what if I told you that, that I need your goddess as much as you? Uh, 
Listen, if your men don't dare to go to Raven Heights, I'll go and take care of those monsters. You, young weak maiden? I should have known there was something not right about you. Only our kids say such things. Nevertheless, we put a bounty on those creatures. 250 gold coins if you kill their mother, Goron Matriarch. If you managed to kill her, they would, wouldn't breed so fast. Alright, I will try my best. Oh, this shell must be like super heavy. Two kilograms. No, it's not that bad. Hmm. Oh, my load so high all of a sudden. A snake. There's Ravenites. Oh, uh, we could try killing these things again now that we're level five. Oh, I do want to. Let's go buy some armor. I think the armor was reasonably affordable. Whoa, dark. Lanterns are real effective. No light at all. They just glow. <laughs> oh, wondrous warrior. Why Your haven't handsome body needs to be protected? I sell armors of every size and shape. Why have a day night cycle if people don't like follow a schedule of any kind? 169 bucks, huh? Better than the oh, shit we were wearing. Warrior. There we go. Of course, the midriff's got to remain exposed. <laughs> We have pants and a shirt now, at least. So dark. 
What a young, sweet girl. All right. That was it. Actually, I guess just call it here and we'll do the swamp uh, next time. So there we go. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you guys are into this. <laughs> Seems pretty interesting so far. But uh, that will be it for today. So, thank you guys for coming by. Uh, tomorrow we'll be starting something new. I'm not quite sure yet what that is. <laughs> I've got to figure that out still. Uh, hopefully something cool. And then we'll continue playing this on Saturday. So please come by and check that out. Let's uh, host somebody up here. Who's streaming? Oh, Moonbeam is playing Heart of Darkness. I've always wanted to play that game. It looks cool. Let's go check that out. All right, everybody. Catch you later. Hopefully I see you tomorrow.